Welcome everyone to the first workout of the Glowing Fit Workout Series, Total Body Strength. I'm here with my good friend Jess Baldwin. He's going to help us through this first workout. Jess, you ready to do this? Ready. We're not going to waste any more time. Starting with squat press. So what you're going to do is pick up those dumbbells. I'm going to use these little guys here to demo. <coughs> Weight is on your heels. Drop your hips back. Down. Squat up. Back down. Back up. 45 seconds. I'm going to be checking form. And here we go. So Jess has got a real good tight frame here. <clears throat> Jess, go ahead and turn to the side. So what we want to see, we want to see his knees not going past his toes. His chest is tall. Nice tight core. Inhaling on the way down. Exhaling on the way up. And this is a total body move. Going to get the heart pumping. It's going to get the metabolism going. About 10 seconds here, Jess. Keep pushing it. Three, two, one, and time. Nice job. Let's set those down. Putting the weights down for a minute. Sticking with the legs. It's going to be one of the common themes here. Lower body. Legs are basically the key to everything. We're going to do what's called a squat kick or a belt kick. So what you're going to do, Jess, hands at the waist. You're squatting down. Stand and kick with the right. Squat down. Stand and kick with the left. Ready to do it? And here we go. So if you want to modify this, you can add dumbbells to the side. But what I think you'll find with all these lower body moves not really going to be necessary. Jess, go ahead and turn to the side again so the folks at home can see what you're doing. Jess is typically an upper body guy. Some of these lower body moves we might throw them off a little bit, but that's all right. It's good for them. Nice job, buddy. 15 seconds left. Get those legs high. In five, four, Three, two, one, and relax. All right, legs are going to get a break. We're doing push ups, which have been done since the dawn of time. A couple key things to remember with the push up keep your shoulder blades together throughout the movement. You don't want to be rounding that back. Your core is tight all the way down, all the way up. 45 seconds. Jess, you ready to do this? Ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Oh, geez. Did not expect that. This guy is just firing him off. I told you he was an upper body guy, folks. As you can see, his core is tight. If that lower back starts to dip, he will start feeling some lower back pain. So you want to keep the core tight. Keep the hips high, but not too high. And if at any point during this you get tired, just pause take a little set break, and then keep going. Modification of this, which I'm going to show you right now, would be on the knees. If you don't have the upper body and core strength, drop down, push up. Just make sure you have a straight line from your knees to your shoulders, and time. Nice job, buddy. Okay, going from pushing right to pulling but we're gonna add some balance and core to it to make this workout efficient. So we have a single leg balance row. Let me demo this for you. So what you're doing, you're on your left leg. Your right leg goes back. Balance, and let me tell you folks, balance, not one of my strengths, but just do your best with it. Okay, tight core, raise that leg back, and then you're rowing, coming back down. Make sure the shoulder doesn't dip on you and if you can't balance, keep that leg close to the ground, but just make sure that back stays straight. Okay, we're going to do 45 seconds. Right side only right now. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, and here we go. 45 seconds. Here we go, Jess. Now let's fight to get that back leg up a little bit. He's huffing and puffing here. This is good stuff for him. Jess is an athlete. These balance moves are going to pay dividends out on the basketball court. 
Keeping that core tight, the sweat is dripping. Looks good, looks good. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. So, one of the benefits of this workout is, it is a strength workout, but we're getting cardiovascular work in at the same time because we're not stopping between these exercises. So what we're gonna do, this is circuit number one. We're going back to the squat press. Gonna run through it one more time. You ready for this? All right, let's do it, buddy. 45 second squat press, one more time. Here we go. Crank it out, make it count. There we go. Now, if at any point, some people are stronger up top, some people are stronger in the lower body. If the lower body gives out, stay up top and keep with the presses. If the upper body gives out, keep them cocked right here and just squat. Show me some of those, Jess. Keep it right at the shoulder. Good. Nice squats. And what that does is that weight in the front challenges the core, always having to keep it tight and engaged. There we go. Let's put them both back together again. Finish it strong. 10 seconds. There we go, Jess. Three, two, one and time nice that's the hardest move right there all right we'll get these out of the way for you squat kick or belt kick not wasting any time going in three two one and here we go there we go look like a russian dancer german dancer russian german i get them confused there we go now keep the weight on those heels, Jess. Turn to the side once. Let's get a good camera shot here. Now let's keep the weight on the heels. Keep the hips back. Good, good. 15 seconds. Finish it strong. This move also great for incorporating balance as you shift from one side to the other. Trust me, folks, it's a lot harder than it looks. Three, two, three one and time nice job jess all right legs get a break we're going back down to the push-ups again let's do it 45 seconds i'm going to do them with you i'm going to do them with you okay here we go three two one and let's do it come on fire them off core is tight If I stand around watching too much in this video, I'm going to lose my pump, so i got to jump in here every now and then and keep it going. Modification, folks. I'm not doing this to cheat, just to show you one more time. Dropping down. Common mistake, you'll see people put their hips up like this. That's not what we're after. Keep those hips down. Shoulder blades together. Hands are under the chest. Here we go. Ten seconds. Finish it strong. Three, two, one. Whew. Now I feel for you, brother. Okay. Other side. Single leg balance rows. Let's get that other hand in. Left hand. Left leg going back. You ready for it? Here we go. There we go. Slow and controlled on this. Not a race. Fighting for height with that back leg. You're going for that tabletop effect. <laughs> now what you'll find with your balance, one side usually stronger than the other. Jess is right-handed. <clears throat> Played a lot of baseball. His left leg has been his plant leg when he throws. Because of that, the left leg is more stable left side of the core is more stable here we go finish it off finish it off then we get a break come on three two one and 30 second rest it's tough. circuit number one is done stretching out now something you can do in these breaks some ballistic stretches just keep moving give yourself some huggers Keep the body loose. 30 second rest. 
allow that heart rate a little bit of time to cool down here. Do some kickers here, keep the hamstrings loose. Thirty to sixty second, thirty to ninety second, folks. If thirty seconds isn't enough, take sixty seconds. Try not to take more than ninety, though. Okay, circuit number two. We have overhead back lunges. So you don't need a lot of weight here. <laughs> the core is working like crazy in this one. I'm going to show you from the side. Overhead arm is directly over your head. Jess, let me have you do this. Arm is directly over your head. Back lunge with the same leg. So drop down there, Jess. Keep your torso tall. It's going to stretch out that hip flexor. Engage the glutes. Engage the quads. And then come back up. Fight to keep that arm straight. 45 seconds again. Ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Now he's shown you an advanced way. You can either drop down, just tap up with the leg, or you can drop down and actually raise the knee. He's doing the more advanced version, adding the element of balance. Love to see it. This one also, like all the moves in the Glowing Fit series, are much harder than they appear to be. Now, if you find that this weight is too much to handle, what you're going to do, just put a hand up, drop down, and stand up. Modification there. And I'll take this from you. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right, we've got a real nasty core and back move here. We have alternating plank rows from the push-up position. What you're going to do, get in this push-up position. These dumbbells here roll from side to side, so it's going to add an element of balance. So you're here, drop down, and then row. Keep that core tight, drop down, and then row. Modification, drop down to the knees, and then come up. Okay. So what I want to see, I want to see you stay off the knees as long as you can. And then when you need to drop down, just go right ahead. Man, I did three reps and I'm tired. Okay, ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one, and here we go. There it is. Keep that core nice and tight. <coughs> it's going to work muscles that you never knew you had. There we go. Jess is doing a great job keeping that straight line from heels to shoulders, which is what we want. 15 seconds, drop down to the knees. Go ahead and turn to the side, Jess, too, so we can check the form over here. Keep it going. There it is. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, buddy. Okay, we have a weighted lateral lunge. These are 15s. You don't need anything close to 15s on these. <laughs> so what you're doing here, you're here. We're dropping down. Right leg is straight. Left leg bends. Keep your chest tall. You're getting this nice stretch on the inner thigh, and then you're popping up. Let me show you that from the side. Step to the side, sit back into that chair. You don't want to be going forward. Sit back in the chair, pop up. Okay, we're going to stick with one side here. Jess is catching his breath. He's good to go. 45 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. There it is. Nice thing about this move, it's also a flexibility move. Stretching out that hip adductor on the inside. The challenge here as he keeps going with this is going to be keeping that torso tall and keeping that knee from popping forward. Just go ahead and turn to the side. Keep it going. We're staying on that one leg. 
Getting some nice glute pop up, explode up. Another great move for sports with the explosive aspect. Three, two, one, and time. Let's set those down. Switching to our heavier weights. Keeping in line with the lower body theme, but now we're adding an upper body element as well. It's a squat with an upright row. Weight drops down between the legs. Chest has, has to stay tall here. Squat, use the legs, pull up to the chin, drop back down. Pull up, drop back down from the side. It's here. My weight is on my heels. I kick back. There's no bend in my back. We don't want this to happen. Keep it tight. Use the legs to boost yourself up. Okay? All right, Jess. He's feeling it. He's burning. He's going to love the feeling afterwards, though. Ready? And here we go. There it is. Use those legs to give you a nice boost. Try to get all in one fluid motion here. There we go. If you get to the point where you're using your legs enough, your arms will really just be along for the ride. Now see how his eyes stay forward. Another trick to keeping your back straight. You can keep your eyes up, looking up towards that ceiling. It'll help make sure that back stays in good, proper alignment. Give me a side shot here, Jess. In five, four, three, two, one, and time. All right. A little 10 second breather here. Guess what we're doing now? We're doing it again. Overhead back lunge. We got to get that other side. Left arm, left leg going back. JB5, here you go. All right. Ready, brother? Overhand, left hand goes up, keeping it straight. Left leg drops back, and here we go. 45 seconds. There we go. Right side is going to be more of a challenge for some people, myself included. There we go. Let's face to the right now. Let's get that side shot again. This arm, ideally, you want to have it directly over the head. It can be tight. It can be difficult if you have tight lats, tight shoulders, tight chest. In three, two, one, and time. Good. Okay. Alternating plank rows, the back and the core. We'll get that timer ready. 45 seconds. This one's going to be a challenge the second time through. You've got to tighten up that core. Going in three, two, one, and here we go, Jess. Plank row. Plank row. I'm going to hop in here, do a few with you. Here it is. I got the five pounders. No problem here. No problem here. If you want to make it tougher, you can even add a little pause and then drop down. Jess, you just keep doing what you're doing. I'll show the folks the pause. Drop down to those knees. There we go. Drop those hips a little bit. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one and time. Oh, all right. A couple more exercises to go on this circuit, circuit number two. <clears throat> Weighted lateral lunges. We're going the other direction. <clears throat> we'll give you the five pounders. Two more exercises, then we'll take a break. Hang in there. Dropping down to the side. Left leg is straight this time. Pop back up. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Weight is on the right heel. Hips are dropping back as he steps down. See how that, those hips kick back and then pop back up. <sighs> there we go. There we go. I don't think Jess realized what he was signing up for today. He's being a good sport about it, though. He's a fit guy. He can take it. 
15 seconds, Jess. Come on, ball of baldy. Let's do it. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. All right, mister. Squat, upright row. Went with the heavy one last time. Let's go lighter this time. 45 seconds. We'll get that timer going here. In three, two, one. Here we go. Squat up to the chin. Squat up to the chin. There we go. Use those legs. Use those legs to power it. If you're using enough explosion, you can even make this a power move here where I'm dropping down and I'm even getting a little bit of a hop at the top. Kind of a ballistic type bounce here. Hop at the top. Explode up. Great move for sports. 10 seconds left. Finish it strong. Here we go. Pick up that pace. Three, two, one, and time. We're going to give you 60 seconds to catch your breath. So what you can do, folks, in these rest periods, some more ballistic movements, just kind of an active quad stretch here. Not holding it. Just keep the movement going. You can drop down. A little straight leg. Balance reach here. Drop down. Get those kicks going. Just keeping the muscles loose. Keeping the heart rate up, but also allowing, allowing it to come down to a certain extent. Guess what? We only have one more circuit. Jess is working hard. I'm breaking a sweat just watching him. Ready to do this, Jess? Okay. And guess what? The legs are working again here. Okay, so first move is a forward lunge with a lateral raise. So this is a leg move, a core move, and a balance move. Getting the deltoids in, a little bit of detail work on the arms here. You're dropping forward, raising the arms, pop back up, switch sides, losing my balance, whoop, whoop. raise it, pop back up. 45 seconds. The end is near. Three, two, one. Here we go. There we go. Nice simultaneous movement there. There we go. Now a common mistake you'll see as Jess continues to do this is you'll see some people step forward and as they raise those dumbbells, they'll throw their back into the move. You want to keep it nice and tight. Jess, give me a side angle here. There we go. That torso's staying upright. He has 10 seconds left. He's working like crazy. Three, two, one, and time. You should see the sweat come off. It's dripping. It smells kind of bad too, but that's okay. All right. One of my personal favorites here is a straight leg deadlift. Lower body in particularly the hamstrings. If you haven't done these before, I'll warn you, you might feel a little bit of hamstring soreness for the next few days, but that's all right. It'll go away, it'll make you stronger, it'll work your core, and the balance aspect is gonna work that central nervous system. So what we're doing here, body is tight, weight is in the right hand, you're dropping down, leg lifts as the torso drops down, Try to keep this left leg as straight as you can. You can't see this calf, but it's twitching like crazy right now. And then come back up. So full speed, it looks like this. You're down and you're up. Modification, just keep this foot back. Keep it close to the ground. Tap it, come back up. All right, Jess, ready to do it. Left leg only. Right leg is dropping back. Three, two, one, and here we go. There we go. Now what I want to see you do, Jess, raise that, le that right leg at the same time as your body starts to drop down here. There we go. 
Make sure that right shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go. This is tough. You might stumble a little bit. Not a problem. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, and time. Just getting the one side only for now. We'll get the other side. You've probably figured out the pattern by now the second time through. We have bent rows alternating. So from the side angle, I'm kicking my hips back, trying to get my chest as close to parallel as I can. What you might notice is if you lack the mobility and flexibility in the lower back, your back's going to start rounding as you get lower, in which case you're going to have to stay a little bit more upright. But if you can get down there, get low, keep the weight on your heels, your shoulders are back, and then you're alternating the rows, one side, other side. Just like so, from the forward angle, we're here, one and then the other. Solid back exercise. The standing bent over element of it, add some core to the mix. You ready to do this? Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. There we go, one at a time. This one's right up your alley, Jess. I've seen you do those pull-ups in the gym. Eyes are forward as usual. Keep it, help keeping the spine in proper alignment. Let's go ahead and turn to the side again. Most important part here, hips are back, chest, Always facing forward. Even as you drop down, that chest is going to be facing forward. Ten seconds. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Okay. Circuit three only has three exercises, so we're running through those three one more time. Alternating forward lunge with the lateral raise one more time, Jess. Have a nice healthy dinner after this, huh? Yes. Maybe. It's not pizza night, is it? No. Okay. All right, here we go. Last three exercises, and we're going. Make them count, Jess. Push hard. Dig deep for these. Dig deep. There we go. Now, as you lunge forward... Keep the weight on that heel. Try not to put too much on your front toe because then you'll feel the stress on the knee. That's tough. Good. Torso's upright. Let's get another side view of it. Now keep an eye on that knee, folks. See how it goes to the edge of the toe, but it doesn't go past. That's what we're looking for. In five, four, three, two, one. Done with those guys. Straight leg deadlift. We've got the other side. Let's push through it, buddy. Left hand. Left leg going back. Balancing on the right leg. The right leg's going to be a tougher balance for Jess. Here we go. 45 seconds. Let's make it happen. On my right. Yep. Standing on the right leg. Weight is in the left hand. Left leg drops back. Three. Two, one, here we go. The balance is going to be tricky over here, especially with all those years of baseball. All-star center fielder right here, folks. One of the best arms in the business. There we go. He's doing a pretty good job on this right side. There we go. Just make sure that left shoulder doesn't dip on you. There we go, his leg is nice and straight. Good torso, starting to creep a little bit. Make sure that leg comes up with it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. We're down to the last exercise, everybody. Oh my gosh. Bent over rows, let's finish it strong. 45 seconds, and then we can breathe, and then we can relax. All right, Jess, let's oh, make it happen. Yeah. It's money time here. It's money time. Three, two, one, and here we go. Push through it. Push through it. 
If you're tired at this point of the workout, just keep going. There we go. Just still doing a great job looking forward. There we go. Shoulders are staying up in that cocked position, not dipping. The tendency at this point of the workout, as the core is fatigued, is for the shoulders to start dipping on you. You don't want to let that happen. 15 seconds. Okay, last 10. Here we go. Pick it up. Double time it. Double time it. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Set them down, my friend. Holy cow. Workout number one of the GlowFit series, total body strength, is complete. Make sure you follow the cool down sequence, stretch out, hydrate, drink your water, get a nice, healthy, squared post-workout meal in to help you replenish, replenish, and we'll see you next time. Hi there, this is Lauren, and I am going to be bringing Core City to you today from Glowing Fit. Really important things we're going to focus on today is form, and I have my friend Haley here to help me out today. Um, we're going to talk about our plank first, because a lot of people will start doing the plank, but little do we know there's so much form involved in the plank. Our first option is going to be on our knees. We want to make sure there's a nice angle from your elbows and your shoulders to where your hip flexor is. This way, if you have a nice angle, we got to start over. I'm, I'm saying all the wrong words. Hi, I'm Lauren, and welcome to Core City, part of Glowing Fit, um, my series with my partner, Gary. And today we have Haley to demo our wonderful abdominal workout that we have planned for you. Important things are to focus on form and, of course, to challenge yourself as far as you can go today. We're going to start by talking about our plank, since a lot of people, I see them doing planks in the gym, and some of them are very good, and some of them need a little bit of work. So we're going to tweak those planks today. We're going to have Haley demo. Our first option is on your knees. Your plank has to have a nice angle from your knees to your shoulders, right here, just like Haley has it, to make sure that you're getting enough work in the core. You'll know when you're working, so keep that in mind. Option two, we're going to be on our forearms. Haley's going down there, perfect. You're going to lift up on those feet, squeezing the core tight. You're nice and tucked. You're pulling through your shoulder blades and, of course, squeezing through right here. Then our third option is going to be on the hands. Some people choose to do this as opposed to the forearm plank, simply because it is a little more work on the shoulders, but also a very good challenge for all of the exercises we're going to do today. So our first circuit, basically we're going to go for 45 seconds on, 30 seconds off. We'll repeat that through our circuits all the way up through four circuits today. And then we have a finisher that I think Haley's going to be really excited for. Mm. All right, so are you ready, Haley? Yeah, let's go. All right, so our first exercise walking push-ups or a forearm plank. So Haley's going to demo here. You're going to walk to the side, push up, other side, and push up again. If you get tired, go to your plank. That's where I'm talking today. So we're going to start in three, two, go. All right, see here how Haley has beautiful form. She's walking back and forth. She's got a nice push-up, squeezing through the shoulder blades. If she's lucky, I'll join her in a few seconds. Come on, Haley, let's go. How you doing? Good. We're gonna keep Love going. Love me some push-ups. <laughs> That's what I want all of you to stay at home. We're pushing up. 45 seconds is pretty tough, huh? Yeah. <laughs> stay with me. Last one, and break. Whew, very good. Moving right away, as fast as you can through our workouts. We're going to go into our V-sit. One of my very favorite exercises, if your tailbone is going to bother you, roll up your mat. Make sure you're nice and comfortable. Option one, your hands are behind you. You're leaning back. Option two, you're up. Option three, legs are right out. So we're going to start for 45 seconds in three, two, and go. Option also to keep that crunch in there. This is going to get those lower abs going, make you move, might bother your hip flexors. All right, Haley, keep going. Let's check her form. So she's got a perfect angle here, coming in, bringing her knees into her chest. 
and she's going to go for 45 seconds. All right. Very good. Keep breathing. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. You've got about 10 seconds left, Haley. Come on. Three, two, and one. Very good. Now on to one of my very favorites, our tuck crunch. So Haley's going to lay on her mat, bringing her elbows and her knees together all the way on the ground, really targeting those lower abs and in. Good. Bring those knees all the way down and your toes to touch the bottom of the mat. Good. So this one's really good for upper and lower abs. If you get tired, take away one, one or the other. So you can either just do the crunch or just bring the legs in. Very good. Keep going. Keep breathing. Chins facing the sky. Keep going. How you doing? Good. Feeling <laughs> those lower abs. Keep it up. You've got about five more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Little break. Now, flutter kicks. So Haley knows what these are, so I'm sure you're very excited for them. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to flutter, flutter kick those legs. Option is to keep the hands underneath the glutes to give you a nice little lift. A little bit of help on the lower back, too. So any back problems, you go ahead and put your hands right underneath your glutes. We're going to flutter kick in three, two, and go. Good. The lower your legs are, the more challenging this is. So Haley's going to tuck in her stomach, squeezing, and lower those abs. If we start to get a little tired or hip flexors start to hurt, you can bring your legs up. A little relief, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Very good. Sometimes I cross my eyes when I do these to look down at my core. <laughs> Everyone's a little unique. All right, you've got 10 seconds left. You can do it. Keep breathing. Good breathing. Three, two, and one. Very good. And break it. Break it. Stop it. All right, so Haley was feeling the 45-second intervals. So now we're going to make her do 30 seconds. Why not burn it out, right? <laughs> yeah. So this one I'm lucky enough to do with you. So we're going to go to the right for two with a nice push-up. Walking push-ups in three, two, go. All right, three, two, and one. Very good. Whew. Slip right over to your V-sit. Now, if your abs are gassed, go right ahead and take out that crunch. But I think haley has got enough in her today for a crunch. So we're going to go for 30 seconds in three, two, and go. Her form's not suffering yet, so hopefully by the end of the circuits, I'll get to her. You got it. Keep it up. If your back starts to hurt, please remember to keep your hands behind you like this. That's totally fine, too. But Haley's killing it. All right, five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now... We got tuck crunches. Elbows to knees again. Make sure those heels are touching the floor. In three, two, go. Good. Very, very good. I wish I could feel your pain, but I'm just sitting here chilling. <laughs> you got it. I'll feel them for both of us. Yep. And I'm sure those of you at home are feeling it with Haley. Maybe I'll join you sometime.
Very good. You've only got about five more seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Right away, flutter kicks. You know what to expect, so we're moving through these 30-second 30, 30 circuits even faster. Good. Relax those shoulders. Good. Keep breathing. You usually want to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Remember that. It really helps. In five seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. Very good. You made it. So that's circuit one. Congratulations to those of you at home. If you're done now, you're done. But if you're with me, let's go to circuit number two. Take breaks when you need it, water when you need it. Keep remembering that this is your workout. So are you ready for circuit two? Yeah. All right. First, we've got our bird dog. Your knees can be on the ground or they can be up. So this is the first option. Alternating legs and arms for 45 seconds. Option number two, we're up here. Woo, my balance. Alternating, this is for the pros. 45 seconds. No matter which option you choose, your core is tight. Ready? Yeah. And go. All right. She's looking good. We're going to focus here. I'm trying to keep those hips from moving. So if you don't have a Lauren at home to keep your hips straight, try to really focus on that core. Come on, Haley, keep them straight. Good. There we go. See, a little more challenging, huh? <laughs> My balance now. See, everyone struggles with something. And our workouts are geared toward kind of hitting, you know, your strong points and your weaknesses just so we can try to be the best we can be all around. Mine as well as Haley just indicated, balance. We do have a balance DVD in this series if you want to check it out, but core will really help you with that. So we're going to focus on this for two more seconds and go. Very good. You're all done. Woo! So we got gotcha. you. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> she is phenomenal. So next we're going to go with our corkscrews. This one's really good because you have multiple options, as always. So option one, you're laying on your back. Option two, you can be propped up right here. You've got your legs out. You're coming all the way up and around. So you want to make sure you make kind of a circle with your legs. Which one would you like me to do? I want you to go up on your arms. That sometimes is a little more challenging. So you're kind of more on your elbows because you have a different lever working for you. So corkscrew it out in three, two, and go. Good. I should probably move out of her way. <laughs> I'm sure you wouldn't mind that at this point, huh? Good. Try to make them nice and round. If your back's bothering you, please go down onto your back. Up and around and down. Good. Up and around and down. Good. Keep going. We've got about 10 seconds left. Keep breathing. Keep those legs straight. Woo! We got her breathing. Let's go. Keep it up. And done. Very good. Very, very good. So those ones are really tough too. With our next one, your obliques or your sides, which is a trouble spot for most of us, will be challenged. We've got many, many options in our side plank. So take a minute here to kind of get really comfortable with which option you choose. Always the first option, leg is down, you're lifted up. Most important thing here, you're staying in a line and your hips are to the ceiling. Option one. Option two, staggered legs. Option three, we're stacked. We're going to stay up here for about 45 seconds and you can just stay right here if you need to. Otherwise, we have a really crazy variation, a dip, and a twist that Miss Haley is going to take on today. So this time I'm lucky enough to plank with her. So let's do 45 seconds right here. And you're up. And go. Stay right here. Leg on the ground. Or add that dip. Haley's got the dip. I'm going to give you the modified version right here. Still a good amount of work. Woo. 
Keep breathing. Really push that shoulder blade back. When you need a break, take it, or just go right back to your plank. Woo. For five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Woo. Switching sides. Let's do this. We've got three seconds. Two, one, and go. We're up here. Remember your options. Very good, keep it up. Hips to the sky, hips to the sky. Keep that good form. We're gonna check Haley. Hips up, high. Good. Woo, where are you feeling it? Oh, right in my ribs. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Keep it up, Haley, you can do it. For five, four, Three, two, and one. Very good. That's the first part of circuit two. So we're moving on to our 30 second intervals. We're gonna breeze right through them. Haley's got the bird dog right away. Right here. And you're up in three, two, go. And you thought I was going to work out with you. <laughs> Newsflash, we've got the hips. Hold those hips. Hold them, hold them, hold them. Good. Come on, work through it. If you need to, drop down to those knees. Drop down. Show our audience what we're doing. If this is your first time doing the DVD, please start on the knees. I want you to learn as well as work out at the same time. And we're good. Whew. Nice. Corkscrews. Your favorite. All right, we're on that back. In three, two, go. Legs nice and high. Try to keep them straight if you can. And if you're really crazy, you can always raise a weight over your head if you'd like. Good. Very good. So which do you think is easier? Oh, definitely on the back. There you go. But I've done almost two circuits now. <laughs> so we should be a little tired. A little tired. Absolutely. And keep in mind, every single body is different. So you might actually find that the back is harder versus the elbows. And we're done. Good. Side plank dip and twist again. We've got 30 seconds on each side. And go. 30 seconds are sure flying by for me. <laughs> Very good. Keep a straight line. You got it. So we're going to push forward that body just a little bit. There you go. Good. Keep it up. And you're done. Very good. Other side. And go. Nice form, Haley. Keep it up. Hips to the sky. Now, if your elbows or your shoulders are giving you problems, just take a break. The only way that you can get through these is by practice. So keep trying with me, but take breaks when you need to. And you're done. Good. Woo! Circuit 2 is complete. You made it. Circuit 2 of Core City. And she's sweating. We've made it. <laughs> so while she's already sweating, I figured why not throw in some cardio in here today. We're going to stand up right off of our mats. Important thing about working your abs is that you want to work them from all angles in all different ways. So 
every day shouldn't necessarily be the same. This workout DVD is going to get you through as long as you need, but try to mix it up when you can. So we've got cardio core here. We're first going to start with our high knees. We're going to go for 30 seconds each, two times through. So our first high knee move, you're moving those knees up, 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 up. Good. Haley's got it. So those knees want to be above your waist. So if you can, bring those knees as high as possible. And we're going to go in three, two, one. All right. So Haley's going to show you how she works those high knees. They're right above her waist. She's looking good. Very, very good. Keep it up. All right. You're 15 seconds through. Good. And see how she's using her arms? She's using her arms to help her keep moving. Help you burn some calories. Get that heart rate up. Go ahead. Keep it up. Keep it up. Come on. Keep breathing. In three, two, one. Good. Good. So a little mini break. I get to show you our next move. Side knee. So I use this one in my kickboxing classes, in my core classes, everything across the board. You're reaching up and you're going to give yourself a nice knee into the chest with a twist. 30 seconds. If that's not hard enough, make it a little more cardio with a nice hop. All right, you ready, Haley? Yeah. Let's do this. 30 seconds each side and go. Up. Good. You want these to be quick. But if you're not there yet, that's okay. We can go nice and slow or fast like Haley. All right, 15 seconds through. Keep it up. Are you squeezing your abs? Oh, yeah. Good. There, I'm tired. <laughs> that's good. That's what we need. All right, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Switching sides. I'm not slipping all over the place. It means you're moving. Yeah. All right, let's do this again. Other side. In three, two, go. Nice. So the bonus to this cardio work here is that not only will you work your abs, but you'll work your heart, you'll work your legs, you'll work a little bit of everything. Your lungs. <laughs> You're working. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up. Good. In five, four, three, two, and one. So good, Haley. Give yourself about 10 seconds to rest, longer if you need to. Please remember there is this wonderful thing called the pause button that you can press if you need a break, so please do. Our next move is standing knees. The only difference here is it's like a high knee, but it's more of a mountain climber. So we're going to bring your arms and legs up, alternating at opposite sides. Break it. Sorry. All right, standing high knees, super exciting move, just like a mountain climber. So your arms are going to go up and your legs at the same time. 30 seconds. Come on, let's go. I'll do it with you. All right. Three, two, go. Get those arms up. I don't want any of this going on. Nice and high. Knees are going to be above the waist. Option. Just climb it out. Do a little dance, whatever you need. Climb it out. Woo. Three, two, one. Very good. Whew. Now, heart rate's got to come back down a little bit before we go to the mat. Standing oblique, crunch. To the side. We're going to start in three, two, and go. If you're like me, you might hear a little popping in your lovely hip. Word of advice, if it hurts, stop. If it doesn't, you're just like me. <laughs> might have a little funkiness going on there. But please, if it hurts, give yourself a break. You've got three, two, and one. Very good. Switching sides. Arms up and go. Really focus on squeezing the core here. Nice big breaths.
Good, keep it up. Three, two, and one. Very good. Whew. So you made it through cardio core. You ready for one more time? Just yeah. one more time through for the second time. Yep. 30 seconds each move right away. High knees, let's go. Use those arms, come on. Show us how those knees are doing. Turn to the side for us, Haley. She's got them nice and high. She's kicking butt. Or maybe I am. <laughs> Let's do it. Come on. Hi. Hi. For three, two, and one. Woo! Side knees. Right to the side. In three. Two and one. Look at her adding that hop. Ooh. <laughs> you got it. She's working. Speed him up. Three, two, one. Good. Other side. Woo! Arms up and go. Like I said, I'm doing the modified version. Nice and slow. The big twist. Haley's got beast mode over there. Woo! Speed it up. Come on. And one. Whew. Nice. Standing knees. You ready for this? Yeah. Mount, mountain climbers in the sky. Let's do it. In three, two, go. Remember, option. Nice and slow. If you don't like the hands, drop it low. You got it. Keep it up. Whew. Come on. Come on, Haley. Show them your knees. Show them your knees. Good. See, look how she's nice and high. Three, two, good. Woo! So fortunately, we'll be able to do a nice oblique crunch to cool it down again. One last time. 30 seconds each side. This time, a little faster. In three, two, go. Come on. Switch sides. Let's do this. In three, two, and go. Woo. Feel those abs working. Sometimes I like to put my hand right here so I can feel all the muscles working. Keep it up. Speed. Come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! You ready for circuit three? Yeah. All right, bring it on. Thanks remember, remember, pause button, water breaks, towel breaks. You need some water, girl? Yeah. All right, I'm going to go get, get you some water. Hang tight. Show them how to keep moving. Here you go. Thank you. Take a sip. Really important you stay hydrated here. Reason being, millions of reasons. But we always want to make it through our workouts, make sure that we're giving our bodies what we need. When we're taking from it, we have to put back into it. You ready, girl? I'll give that to you. All right. Circuit number three. 
my favorite, plank jacks, or a nice little hold. So Haley's with me here. Option one, on the elbows. All right, you're holding it right here. Option two, nice and big, plank it out. Three, you're on those hands for 45 seconds, and go. Let me check her form. Form police over here. Push through those shoulder blades, girl. Tuck the stomach. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Woo. Where do we feel it? Inner thighs. Inner thighs. See, we've got a little bit of everything. Keep in mind, core is everything. But there is a huge emphasis on abs today. Breaks when you need it. But we're going to work a little bit of everything. Come on, girl. You've got about five more seconds left. You can do it. Push. Three, two, and one. Fabulous. Woo! So, we're rolling over. Our single, single leg crossover crunch. You're on your back. You're laying down. One leg is over the other. And you're going to come up and down. Up and down. Good. Squeeze in here. Lower abs and go. She gets a little extra, so feel free to start when you're ready. Keep breathing. Breathe out on your way up. Woo. Low abs. Do we feel it? Yes. Good. You might feel it a little bit in your hip flexor. That's right here along the band of your upper leg, and that's okay. We're going to strengthen everything today. You've got three seconds, two, and one. Fabulous. Other side. Switching over and go. Up and down. Really focus on lifting that chest. The knee is to the sky just along with the chin. Woo! This is tougher than I thought. Come on. We can do it. Woo! 15 seconds, come on. One. Absolutely. Just need a mini break after that one. Especially when we have the reverse scissors crunch going on. <laughs> Usually I recommend keeping a towel, but shirts are perfect too. So they're here to be sweated on, correct? All right, so reverse scissors crunch. You're on your back. Your legs are going up and down. Keep going with me and go. That's right. It's all right with me as long as you're still moving. Come on. Remember your breaks when you need them. If those hip flexors are just burned. Take a second, stretch them out, do what you need. Keep it up. So you will feel this in your thighs as well as your glutes, your core, all across the board. Breaks when you need it. Come on. Woo! Good. There you go. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Good. Important note here. One, you just made it through circuit three. So congratulations. Woo! Except... I do it again. 30 seconds each more. Woo. One more time. You got it, girl. So important thing to remember here is breathing can really help you with your core. Breathing from your core is the best way to kind of get you through those exercises no matter what you're doing. So Haley's already way ahead of the game. She's got plank jacks on her mind. I do. 
So we're going to hit them in three, two, and go. 30 seconds here. Another option. You can always tap those feet. Woo. Keep going. You got this. Whew. Hips down. Two and one. Fabulous. Whew. Very good. Take a moment when you need to. Go into child's pose. Stretch those legs. Haley's got a good child's pose right there. Really push through those shoulder, bra shoulder blades. Bring those hands forward. And take a second. Because your hip flexors are about to be on fire again with our single leg crossover crunch. You got this. Two, I reversed the other leg. You're gonna do one leg over. Yep, that's totally fine. And go, down and up. Only 30 seconds this time, so maybe speed it up. Keep breathing. See? Breathing out on the way up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Switch right away. Right away, we got this. And go. Good. Keep your breathing. Keep it up. Squeeze those lower abs. Come on, right here. Woo, I feel them. She's got rocks. <laughs> Steamy hot, fiery tummy. Who doesn't want that? All right, you've got less than 10 seconds left. Come on, look fierce. Push through it. Three, two, and one. Fabulous. Reverse scissors crunch. You're almost done, guys. Keep it up. In three, two, one. Legs going up and down. Good, 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 good. Keep those legs straight. Do what you can. Very good. Of course, an option here is to just take out the up and down of the legs. You can always keep them just up top right here. Should be a little easier on the core, because the lower you go, the harder. Breaks when you need it. Breaks, breaks, breaks. If the I know, they're killer. And you're done. If this workout is easy for you on your first time through, give me a call, because I need to think of something else for you, because this should be hard. It should be hard. Haley's in great shape, and a lot of you at home May have either just been starting, or you're just looking to get back into things, or maybe you're extremely fit and into everything already. But really keep in mind that this is your workout, like I said. So please take your time and get into the workouts. All right, last circuit. 45 seconds, 30 off. There we go. You're in your plank again. All right. Our hardest option here, bringing those knees to the elbows. Or back down to your forearm plank again, right here. All right, in three, two, go. 45 seconds. Come on. I need longer legs to touch my elbows. Well, we're all given what we're given, and we work with it. So let's go. Come on. Come on, breaks when you need it. Come on. You can do it. If you're back down in your forearm plank, maybe you're on your knees. Wherever you are, you're pushing through the shoulder blades, and you're tight right here. You've got two seconds. And done. Woo! 
Yeah, that's fine. But that's okay. All right, so we've got a great uh, way to work the back. Remember, core isn't just abs, though this video is focused core mostly on our abs. We are going to work our back, too. So one of my favorites, you're going to come down to your mat. Option one, your arms are behind your head. You're going to twist right here, squeezing the glutes. Option two, opposite arm, opposite leg, just like Haley's got for 45 seconds, and go. Try to keep those legs straight in the back there. Good. So you might feel this in your glutes. You might feel it in your quads. You never know where you're going to feel it, but just keep pulling. Keep those legs straight, Haley. Good. Remember, drop the legs if it's too much. Or drop the arms if the shoulders are sore. Very good. Keep breathing. You want to feel like your stomach is being scooped up from the mat. So squeeze that stomach in three, two, and one. Good. Nice little break. So side plank with taps. If you did our strength video yesterday, your shoulders might be a little sore. So you can always, like I said, come right down to your leg. This still will be some work on the shoulder, but a little less. We're tapping front and back, front and back. Option two, you're up here, and go. Yeah, Haley, you got it. Option two is where we're going to be. Come on. Very good. Make sure those shoulders are back. Good, hips are high. 45 seconds each side. Keep breathing. Very good, modify when you need to, change things up. Three, two, and one. Very good, switching sides right away. Other side, and we're up. Let's go. Woo. Keep breathing. Come on. Make sure you're not tensing up your neck. Stay nice and loose. Let's check her form. Her elbows and shoulders are back. Her hips are lifted. Come on. Woo. We're feeling it now, I think. Right, Haley? We're feeling it? Oh, yeah. There you go. She's with us again. All right, and down. Very good. So last time, 30 seconds through that, and then we'll see what happens. We've got our plank with legs in and out. Remember to keep those hips nice and tucked. Glutes are tucked. You're right here. In and out. Let's go. 30 seconds. Good job, Haley. Keep it up. Wow, we're really doing it here. We're working hard. Keep going. I know. Fun, right? And down. Whew. Child's pose again. Give yourself a little break when you need it. When you're ready, right back into our back twist. Here on the ground. Hands behind the head. Lifting our legs and go. 30 seconds here. You can do anything for 30 seconds, so yeah. let's do it. <laughs> or as I say, suck it up, buttercup. You got it. Or 
Or maybe Bumblebee. You look kind of like a Bumblebee this today. <laughs> You're doing great. Keep it up. Come on. Three, two, and good. Very good. Back to our side plank with taps. Keep in mind here, taps aren't necessary. Side plank's not necessary. I want you to do what you can do today. Very good. Get in the position. Seeing a nice line. We're going to bring you back here a little bit, Haley. Make sure your elbow is in line with your feet. So you're going to move those oh. feet forward or Let's elbows back. Saying. Yeah, there you go. In three, two, go. Good. Look at those taps. She's killing it. Relax that head. Shoulders are back. Feel free to use your hand if you need to, to prop you up a little bit. And when you're ready, I want you to put your shoulders all the way back again. Good. There you go. Whew. And done. Switch sides. Oh, man. That was a killer. Where are you feeling it? I feel a lot in my shoulders, but... Whew, <laughs> Told you we'd get everything today. What all of us girls want, though. <laughs> right? And you boys too. I'm oh, sure you want them. Too, for sure. Nobody likes a flabby outer thigh. <laughs> you can do it. Let's go. Let's work for those outer thighs in three, two, and go. Very good. Are you feeling it? Oh, yeah. Are you glowing fit today? Oh, I'm glowing. <laughs> I can't even see it on my face. I see it. You're glowing everywhere. In three, two, and good. Woo! Oh, I'm exhausted watching you out there. <laughs> so, you can end the DVD right now and know that you left with an incredible workout. Or you can do the finisher with me and Haley. We've got um, a great little option for you. Once again, keep in mind this is only if you're just absolutely not completely gassed and you've got maybe a little bit left. We've got the finisher. We've got eight seconds here. Mountain climbers twisting side to side and then forward as many times as I say. Are you ready? All right, got to put my hair back for this one. In three, two, and go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Side. Five, six, seven, eight. Forward. Side. Forward. Side. Forward. And hold. Oh, hold. hold, hold, hold. These are for those of you who've been doing this a long time, who just need a little extra fun. For five, four, three, two, and one. You did it. Woo! And we're back up. Give me some, girl. Nice job. Nice job to you at home. And we hope to see you soon. Sorry. Oh, are you playing that one? Oops. Uh -oh. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Leon Phelps, aka the Dream Maker, right here. We're about to be talking about where dreams come true. I'm gonna show you a couple moves for the kids. This one right here is something I use. When I'm trying to do a little in and out shake and bake, first thing I do is I set them up like this, and then I go one, two, and then around the back like that. It's real simple. It looks more complicated than it is, 
but um, try that a couple times at home. The next one, this is called the Professor Midterm. I'm going to do it sideways like this. So you want to set them up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to do a stiff-legged crossover. Now what that means is you'll go like this and then bring it back, okay? So you go boom, then bring it back like this. Now it's a little bit of a carry, but forget about that piece. You're going to come back and step back like that, and then hit it one more time with the in and out. Now that's called the midterm. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Lauren and I'm here in the Glowing for Glutes workout for our Glowing Fit series. I have my friend here, Lindsay, who's going to help me out today with our workout. This is one of my favorite workouts because we have some really cool things going on for us. Glutes are our powerhouse. That's where we get make the money. That's where we get our start over. Hi there, I'm Lauren and today we are Glowing for Glutes in the Glowing Fit series. My friend Lindsay and I are here to do a great glute workout to kind of tone those muscles. We're going to get the legs, we're going to get quads, hamstrings, but our focus here today is glutes. Why? Because they are very near and dear to my heart. Um, little quick story, when I was younger I had no butt and I got made fun of a lot and to be honest it wasn't too fun. So I said take this world when I decided to do some squats and get going on my glutes. So Lindsay is going to share this wonderful experience with me today and we're going to kick some butt. Are you ready? Wonderful. So our first exercise. Basically, we're going through circuits of 30 seconds each. We'll do each circuit twice. 30 seconds of each move, twice. I'll give you modified versions. I'll give you advanced versions. Let's just have some fun. You can take your weight. Here, weight is always optional. If this is your first time, I always suggest no weight for the first time. Um, and that's about it. So in three, two, one. 30 seconds right here. Sumo squat. Your feet are nice out and wide pointing to the outsides of the rooms. You're squeezing your glutes. This is our first move. It should activate those glutes and get you going. If you're already pretty warmed up, you can always speed it up a little bit. Keep breathing. Come on, Lindsay. Woo! Breathing with me. Good. And you're down. Option here is to drop the weight or you can stick with me. We've got our next move, a little squat with a leg lift. Important thing here, keep those knees forward. Those glutes are tucked. You're going down and back up. You ready? 30 seconds each side. Let's go. Nobody wants a nasty outer thigh. Come on, let's do it. <laughs> if today's your first time, please keep in mind that we have many, many days together left. Every day is different. Start where you need to, and we'll build from there. Very good. Switch legs. Woo! And go. First time I worked my glutes wasn't too pretty. <laughs> Tell you that. And we're not here to be pretty. We're here to be strong. We're here to glow. <laughs> Woo! Bet you can hear me breathing. Reminder for those of you with asthma, like myself, take breaks when you need it. And done. Whew. Dropping that weight myself, right onto our glute bridge. You're on the ground. Your toes are on the floor. You've got two options. One minute, Lindsay's going to do this. Double glute bridge. You're up here. And holding it nice and tight, going down and up. Option two, one leg with me for 30 seconds. In three, two, go. Up and down. Whew. Enough of that for me. Let's check her form. Keep going. Pull those glutes tight. Ha ha, I get to take breaks. <laughs> Keep it up. 
All right, lift those hips a little bit higher. Woo, and good. Mini break, you're going back up, double legs. I'm on the other side here. In three, two, go. Woo! Uh-oh. Gotta hide the shirts. Hide the tummy. <laughs> Come on, girls. Keep it up. Woo! A little break again. I'm gonna check your form. All right. You're looking beautiful, as always. And done. Very good. Now, one of my favorites... We're back up right away, jump squats. Arms can be wherever you want. I like to keep mine here, nice and strong. We're going down and up for 30 seconds. Let's go. That's our advanced option. Keep in mind, we can also go to the toes or just a nice squat. Lindsay, keep hopping. Keep going, bring those knees together, girl. Good. I'll be with you. For five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, you made it through, but we do it again. So let's go. We've got our sumo squat here. You'll earn your break right after we're done with the circuit. If you're at home, remember my friend the pause button. That's your break whenever you need it. <laughs> Feet wide in three, two, and go. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Stay where you are. Turn you to the side. We're going out. Squeeze the glutes in. Out. Squeeze in. It might feel a little funny at first, as I'm sure you might. <laughs> but this move is essential. And good, very good. Side squat to leg lift. Feel free to drop your weight. Right side first. Chest is high. And go. Really initiate that movement in the hips. And pull up those legs. Good. You're looking good. I'm waiting for her to mess up so I can take a break. <laughs> Woo! You're doing great. Lindsay and our viewers at home, you're doing awesome. Switch legs. Whew. Let's get ready and go. Now, if you don't have all the time in the world to work out, keep in mind, you can do each circuit once instead of twice. A little tip, don't let time keep you from working out. And good. Whew, so good. Keep it up. We've got our glute bridges here. This time, I'm going to watch you. One leg up the others down. Keep in mind, like I said, both legs is fine. Lifting those lips high, hips high, that's all we need. In three, two, and go. Good. Got those runner's glutes. Good. <laughs> Keep them up. She's doing great. I'm sure you are at home. Breaks when you need it. Whew. Oh, so hot. I know. We're getting warm. What do you know? <laughs> and good. Switch legs. Switch legs for me and start. So, this move here is going to work your hips, your hamstrings, your glutes. If, for any reason, this is not challenging enough for you, Always feel free to add weight to any exercise. You can hold the weight above your head. 
and get a nice little core workout as well. But this should be pretty tough. If it's not, as I said before, give me a call and we'll talk about it. <laughs> You've got five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Back up, my friends. We've got jump squats to finish. Remember option one? Option two, on the toes. Option three, hop it out and go. You pick your option. If you get tired, you change your option. Nice and light feet, nice and light. Keep it up. Good, get those glutes down. Want to get nice and low and explode up. Good. Whew. Looking good, Lindsay. Keep it up. Whew. And good. You made it through circuit. One, completely this time. So we grab a little water, take a break. So these muscles back here are wonderful, wonderful component to any workout. Largest muscle group in our body, killing those calories, melting the fat. So that's what we're here for today. Looks like she's already ready, so enough of my talking. We've got circuit two, 30 seconds each. This time we're going to challenge your core. Forearm plank with a leg tap. We're right here. Oop. And we're down in three, two, go. You want to make sure your butt's nice and tucked. Your core's tight. Good. Feel free to speed them up if you've got that form. You're doing great. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. Down here. We're going to be extra strong. We've got Supermans. So, Lindsay's going to demo our Superman. Arms are up, legs are up. Option one, going down and up there. Option two, a continual swim. And go. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Lift those glutes off the ceiling. Or up to the ceiling, off the floor. I guess if you're on the ceiling, you might be Superman instead of... Or you might be Spider-Man instead of Superman. Keep it up. This is a good sign. I can't talk if I'm working, right? Three, two, and one. Woo! Now, transition from Superman to Mario, my favorite, and my little boy Ethan, my little nephew. This one's for you. So, from the side, we've got a nice little lunge, and you're back up. Okay, option one, little tap. Option two, it's me, Mario. You're up here, hopping. I might be annoying the heck out of you right now, but we're going to work together. Ready? In three, two, and one. Bring that knee to that chest. Whew. All right, let's check that form. Keep going. You look like a sprinter over here, ready for action. It's always easy when you have a good student. All right, well, I guess I might as well join her. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Very good. Right away, other side. You ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, and go. She's using those arms. Get nice and high. Woo! My quads. These things. Right here, Whew. this is burning off my morning oatmeal. For four, three, two, and one. Whew. All over again. You ready? Yep. Are you ready? 
I think they said, yeah. So let's do it. Right here in your plank. And go. Tapping it out. Good. Taking a moment here to talk form. We're going to push through those shoulder blades nice and strong. Push through. Tighten that stomach. And make sure those hips stay where they are. Don't want to see you doing any of this. No hula hips. <laughs> Another option to come up to your arms for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, stay where you are. It's time to be Superman. Remember? Glutes to the ceiling in three, two, and one. Or swim with me. Do some laps. So the closest you'll see me to water, though it is a great workout. Keep it up. Keep those hips high. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Back to Mario. Whew. Now let's not throw this workout away on pizza and spaghetti, but in the honor of Mario, in three, two, and go. Ooh, I'm sweating. Me too. Whew. And if you're not, speed it up. Come on. Don't forget our modified option to just step it up or really fire those glutes and quads. Whew. Make sure that knee is directly behind the toe, right here. Whew. Three, oh, two, and one. Whew. Shake them out and switch. In three, in two, and one. Whew. Come on. Like I said, not hard enough, you pick it up. Too hard, slow it down. You're doing great, Lindsay, keep it up. She's not gonna be my friend after this. Whew. Keep in mind, we've only got one more circuit after this. Come on, last three, two, and one. Whew. So good. All right, circuit two, complete. Whew. Take a water break, do what you need. Keep moving. Whew. Are we ready? Yep. Remember, pause button, but don't stop. <laughs> pause and stop, two different buttons. Make sure we find them. Whew. We've got toe taps here. Designed to bring the heart rate down, but still work on those legs. You're gonna go to the side and to the back. There is a slight bend in that standing leg, but our chest is high. Now speed them up, side and back. Let's go. Come on. If you don't need to touch the ground, that's cool too. Woo! Dang, all right, keep it up. Get a little lower. Five, four, three, two, one. Now you're gonna hold it. Option one, your foot's back on the ground. Option two, you're up, and you're gonna pulse. Chest high for five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Woo, other side. Let's do this. And down and go. Chest high. Speed them up. Hands are wherever you want. Take out that tap if you can. 
squeeze the glutes, really focus and good. Now you're gonna hold that leg, just needed a break, and pulse. Woo! For five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Make sure you're squeezing those glutes, okay? Next, walking squats or froggy hops. Sound totally different, but they both work the same muscle groups. Option one is our walking, going forward and back, staying low, forward and back. Our advanced option, forward and back, forward and back. 30 seconds of this, you ready? Yep. Let's go. Whew. So Lindsay's got the advanced, I'm gonna walk it out. As long as you're staying low, I'm happy. As long as you're glowing glutes, I'm happy. You're going to love me after the next 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Now hold it. Nice and low. Come on, chest is high. You're holding this little puppy for 30 seconds. Woo. Oh, mama. Chest is high. Come on. Chest is high. In five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. We're going out and again. We love our high fives here at Glowing Fit all over again. Okay? So, you've got this. You know the moves push okay we've got one more time through this and then dun 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 the finisher okay so we've got our toe taps you're right here knees bent you're going to the side and back and go feel free to take the tap out but if you're struggling with balance like I am today <laughs> keep it in come on For five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Hold it. And five, four, just as high. Three, two, and one. Woo hoo! Other side. Let's do this and go. Remember, breaks when you need it. Keep breathing. Come on, speed them up. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Woo! See that fatigue? For five, four, three, two, and one. Walking squats or froggy hops. In three, two, let's go. Now I can't let Lindsay have all the fun. So I'm going to move to our froggy hops. Can't have her showing up my glutes. No, she's great. And so are you for three, two, and hold. You break when you need it. All right, get down there, get nice and low. So good. Watch those knees, they're behind the toes. Right there, chest is high. Woo! For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. All right. So, if you're done, 
finito, complete. You can stop right there. You can move to our stretch portion of the video series, take some time, celebrate your accomplishments. But once again, if you've got a little more left in you, we have the finisher, all right? So this is gonna burn. It's not gonna be pretty, and that's okay. Because if you wanna glow, we gotta work. So, finisher, did you get some water? Uh -huh. Good, hope you did too, because we're about to go. We're gonna pulse in our lunges, so a nice static lunge with a pulse. We're gonna go there for about 30 seconds each side, and then I'll throw in the fun, all right? Three, two, go. Knees behind the toes. This seems like a walk in the park until you feel it. And if you already do, well good, I'm doing my job. Keep it up. Come on. You look too happy for this workout. <laughs> Three, two, and up. Very good. Switching sides. In three, two, and go. Whew. Whoa, balance. We must work on all of our, all the things we need. Good thing I got that balance and stability workout to do. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. So, fairly good there. Now, we take it to the next level. Option one, you're alternating. Nice and quick. Option two, you're hopping with me. 30 seconds. Let's go. Come on, squeeze the glutes. Woo! I'm starting to slow down, come on. Work with me. For a five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! We're almost there, guys, almost there. The final work we have to do today is right down here. I call these butt busters because once again my butt used to indent so near and dear to my heart is this move. Optional weight behind the legs. We're going to come up and to the side. Up and to the side. Opening up those hips and go. Really squeeze those glutes. Squeeze. One more here. Good. Now you're going to pulse one, two, three back down. One, two, three, back down. Woo! Got me breathing. I barely had to stop because Lindsay's got killer form. Last one. Now hold it up and pulse. Pulse. Woo! I'm sweating. Are you? Oh, yeah. Good. Come on. Keep it up. Little shake should happen. Come on. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Two. Hold it for five. Four. I know. Three. Two. And down. Woo! Other side. Switch it up. Wipe the sweat off your face. 
Or if it's on the ground, just clean it up later. All right, here we go. Other side, and up, and to the side. Up, to the side. If your wrists are bothering you, take a minute and go down to the ground on your forearms. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Now, we're going to pulse up for three, back down. You doing okay back there? Yep. <laughs> now pulse. Woo! Don't give up. And hold it for five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! So you made it through our Glowing for Glutes workout in our Glowing Fit workout series. So proud of you, Lindsay, and so proud of you at home. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope to see you again and again and again. Don't forget to stretch out, drink water, and eat well. This workout is nothing without the rest. So give it a try. Thanks. Okay, welcome everyone to the glowing.